Hello everybody, this is Judicious Fire. I am here with a 2 million might warehouse review. Uh, we are in chapter two of the stroll through a warehouse, six years in the making here in Castle Clash. If you could hit the subscribe button, notification bell, you'll know when videos like this come out. Uh, part two, we are now looking at more of our consumable items. We're about uh, one third of the way through the uh, warehouse so far. Uh, we are down to talent runes. Okay, talent runes. Excess fame I talked about in part one, 49,500 cap limit on uh, that I like to maintain on uh, items. Thereby, with excess fame, I purchase talent runes, something that is available in the warehouse, and it means I'm, at least I'm not wasting fame. Uh, that's why those numbers are even, because I just, you know, every week I spend off the extra fame and accumulate these uh, rocks. Uh, now you see as the rarity of the item and the newness of the item is represented, you see that the number goes down as its avail availability becomes more scarce. So 17,000 reds, 2,800 of the multicolor rainbows uh, for the level 10 uh, talent. Uh, level 5 talent boxes, they're available in castle chests. Uh, I mean, if I need a level five talent, I, this is what I do. I either have it in form of a uh, consumable item, which we're about to see, or I do the level five talent chest. I will say this, the majority of what you're gonna be getting on a level five talent chest are typically older talents. And if you're looking for a newer talent, it's a hard thing to get from a level five talent chest. So if I'm looking for an older talent, like a flame guard, I'll use a level five talent chest. And probably more so than my my flame guard uh, uh, talents that I have in um, consumable form. Uh, I think it's a better use of your um, items, and I think it's a better use of uh, how the talent system works. So if you're looking for like a true piety, we are going to get six blade shells on your way to true piety. You might get sixty blade shells on your way to true piety. So if you're looking for a blade shell, use a level five talent chest. Uh, we've got an evolution rune. Uh, just expenditure from extra fame. 347 um, arena cards. Uh, they just accumulate over time. Uh, now we look into talents. These talents can be immediately applied to a hero just simply by opening them up. Fastest, easiest way. There are some that have been scarcely, if ever, really available in CC. Berserk would be one of them. It's very difficult to ever find slow in this form. Life Drain, I only have two, but I got 92 War Gods. So it's the way they balance, you know, commodities. 476 Faint. That's uh, four times the number of heroes that we have in the game. If I ever need an Unholy Pact, I'd go here. Okay, well, let's... Uh, and then it gets a little bit more scarce as the talents become a little bit newer, like a True Piety being a seven right now. Next part of the com uh, open um, consumables. We're looking at enchantments. Okay, enchantments are available for an immediate application onto your hero through this form. This is the best way to, to do it. You're not fishing for enchantments forever. If you can try to accumulate these, that's the easiest way that you can swap in and out. You know, whatever it is you're doing. What you're doing for a warden is gonna be completely different and require a different enchantment probably than what you're doing for a base defense. Uh, some a little bit more scarce than the others. Uh, like 36 blinding blow. Okay. Uh, but not a single holy conviction, which is something that I would actually use and have used them up on uh, applying them to heroes. Uh, there's the newer brawlers and oracles and wardens aid uh, in lower numbers. We've got 41,083 enchantment refresh tries and they are available in castle chests castle chests accumulate you open one of those up and you get 10 of these so was quickly able to get to you know that kind of max number i haven't had to burn any off in any way thank goodness that comes from good warehouse management but uh, with 49999 i don't open castle chests i will get to castle chests at the bottom of the of the warehouse but uh you know in terms of um enchantment refreshes i would use the card just like a talent refresh you're gonna get the older ones you can get four or fives long before you get a uh, five of five holy conviction that might take 300 of those so uh, low odds uh, a lot of things uh purchased through fame 
Uh, first couple were use of fame, extra fame. Uh, we got 960 of these things for making level 10 insignias. Then we have the daily login accumulate warden birth rocks uh, option in this game. It got a 49.5 cap limit. They sell to gold. Uh, each day when I cl collect my next, you know, 50, um, I just sell them off for gold and keep it at that limit. Uh, Castle Chest 3 would not be able to be opened if I push that uh, a couple hundred more. Um, breakthrough Rocks. 49.5, 49.5, and 49.5. The only new heroes that I accumulate in this game are the new hero that is released each month or the two new heroes that are released each month. And that would be 13,000 of one, 5,000 of the other approximating, 3,000 of the next. And then that's it. So uh, very easy to accumulate, you know, max number on that. Uh, and I have to sell them off. Uh, if I'm running Lost Land and I get 15 of the multicolored ones, I'll sell them for blue crystals. And blue crystals, I got to burn down. It's this constant management, which makes really very little sense to me as a player. It should just simply be unlimited number. You do two, two keystrokes, and now all of a sudden, the whole thing's changed. And it goes to the way shards are accumulated in this game. But I don't run the program. Uh, 9,600 of the um, floating aisle. Uh, I don't do Floating Isle unless there's a new hero available. And the reason is I get a bunch of stuff that I can't even collect. So I just stay away from it uh, and collect these uh, Floating Isle rocks until they're releasing a new hero in that way. Uh, 20 of those bad boys for Blitz Gauntlet. Uh, maybe it takes about 50 to max out a month for Blitz Gauntlet. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I got 20 of them. Uh, didn't have to use them. Uh, crystals. Crystals for pets. Uh, once your pet is maxed, there's nothing else to do. So you just collect crystals. Now, certainly the, what is this one called? The Sage Lioness is far more um, in abundance in this game, apparently, for me, uh, than, say, Cold Drake, which is relatively new. Okay, we move on to uh, pet snacks. Pet snacks. I have a 49,500 roll. One thing that I'm allowing, no, three things that I would allow myself to go over 49.5. Pet snacks, the green stuff, and the blue pet essence. There's no chest and there's no bag in this game that contains currently pet snacks, spawning agent, and uh, pet essence. Due to that fact, I don't have any problem opening up anything or collecting any rewards. Uh, so I'll take that to 49.950. And if I if they ever give out pet snacks, they'll give out like 13 at a time. I'll still be able to collect it. The day they put these in the chest or whatever, I'll take it down to 49.5 again. Uh, spending off fame with the uh, pet books. That's really it. 9.89 of the uh, team dungeon cards. They had this on a... I think it was a um, a Blitz. No, it was a Board Game Bash. And I got a couple hundred through that. The rest were just through, you know, my normal uh, gameplay. And I, it's not really a game mode that I do because I don't really need a lot. I don't need anything from it that it's going to be giving me that I would want to accumulate. So that's kind of why I stay away from it. And it's just a cruise. Uh, could be sold off for gold, but I think it's a valuable resource, so I keep it there. We're going to be moving next, next uh, part in the series. I'm going to bring this one to a close. Call this the consumables chapter. Next part in the series, we're going to look at heroes and a hero accumulation. And the rule that I keep me to when it comes to hero accumulation. Um, the rarity of heroes as we look at it. And it's interesting to see how many that I've accumulated in terms of rolling heroes over the last six years. Uh, I can, I'm dripping. <laughs> in Demo Gorgons, but I can get uh, a candy cane. Why? I don't know. That's Castle Clash for you. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope the game is treating you well. I will catch you on part three, and it looks like the last one in this series as we review a warehouse at 2 million might. All right, thanks everybody for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.